Jurassic. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. This video we're going to talk about a couple separate things. We're going to talk about the surfactants, but we're going to talk about soap separately. And then we're going to talk about quaternary ammonium compounds, which are um, some of the most commonly used cleaners in the world. So first, um, surfactants, what they do is they lower surface tension, just like the surfactant in your lung does, uh, lungs do. Uh, they are the major ingredients in both soaps and detergents. So I actually didn't know this too long ago, but... Uh, Soaps and detergents are, are different. Soaps are, are natural. They come from, they're a byproduct of fats. But they leave, especially if you have hard water that has a lot of minerals in it, like calcium and magnesium, that's why they leave this soap film. Detergents don't do that because they're synthetic and they're able to, they're able to wipe, wash these things away. So I, I saw that in a really neat example in a chemistry lab. So, so soaps and detergents are not the same thing. So first of all, just soap. Um, soap is a terrible antimicrobial, right? Soap is, is effective because it physically degerms or removes moves microbes. So if I were to ever to ask you on an exam or something about soap, right? Soap isn't antibacterial unless you're talking about antibacterial soap. Soap is effective though because it physically removes and washes away and degerms. So soap is a degerming agent. All right, when it comes to the detergents, there are different types of detergents, anionic and cationic detergents, but we only care about the, the one major group and they would be called cationic detergents, but I don't think it's a huge deal. Um, this very important class of disinfectants that are called the quaternary ammonium compounds. You see them called the quaternary ammonia salts here. Um, they're, they're referred to as quats usually. So someone's, talk, someone's talking about a quat, they're talking about a quaternary ammonium compound. So here's how they work. This is what makes them amazing. So here's two, two examples of um, cetyl peridinium chloride and benzalkonium chloride. These are going to be the two most important quats. They actually can insert themselves, like you see in this wonderful picture, they insert themselves right into the plasma membrane and disrupt it. So that's going to be how they work. They're, they're disrupting the phospholipid bilayer of a cell right there by, by inserting themselves right where the phospholipids should be sitting. So where are these used? Man, they're all over the place. Many of your many of your Lysol branded products are going to have benzalkonium chloride in it. Um, I'm, you're seeing it more and more, especially as triclosan is being removed from a lot of your antibacterial pro pro products. You're seeing more of these quats being added to these things. So they're on your, your skin antiseptics. So they're replacing um, alcohol and some of your hand sanitizers as well. Um, oral rinses, mouthwashes, you name it. So and and like I mentioned before, these quaternary ammonium compounds are are often the most common common ingredient in cleaning products used in the healthcare setting. So you are most likely working with some form of a quat. All right, so that is soap as a surfactant and a degerming agent, and then the quaternary ammonium compounds or the quats. Both, both get rid of microbes, but um, soap just physically removes them. The quats are actually, um, can be disinfectants and antiseptics. All right, I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.